it's almost like that famous saying, the best way to learn is to teach or whatever. So how was that process for you? Did you feel like you learned through that process of kind of productizing this and putting it into its own written words and things like that? Did it make it all click for you? Yes, absolutely. And I think productizing something is just really an extension of documenting something, which is the same thing for, as you mentioned, a podcast, writing an article. All of those force you, they're forcing functions in similar ways to get you to take these like really vague concepts in your mind. And as soon as you're documenting them and in effect, trying to translate them from your brain to another brain, that's really, really hard to do because once you get into it, again, these vague concepts that make sense in your brain, you realize are actually not that really well thought out in some cases, Mm. or maybe they are well thought out, but it's really hard to condense them into something that can be really easily translated. And so, yes, they're forcing functions for you to sit down and think about what is really essential here. And do I even know, do I even have a clear sense of what I'm trying to say? And I, I found for a product, especially that's like an extreme forcing function, because if you're putting a price point on it, you better hope that you're actually bringing value to someone's life. And so, yes, it was really important to do that. And another way that this is really solidified in my brain, this concept of documenting something and the importance of it is there's a book called Algorithms to Live By, which I in general recommend to to many people. And it covers a vast array of topics around this idea of computer science and how you can use learnings from it to influence more of our human lives, right? We're not robots, but you can still use some of those concepts. And one of them is this idea of caching theory and the way that computers cache information. Now, Mm. humans cache information as well. That's the same reason why you can't remember the level of detail from a year ago and especially 10 years ago in the way that you can remember the level of detail of something that happened 30 seconds ago. So your information Mm. or your brain, sorry, caches information based on its relevancy to you today. Now, when you're asked something off the cuff, you only have that surface layer of caching available to you where you're just picking at something that's recent or that really, really has stuck with you for some reason, but you're not really getting to the depths of your knowledge, which is why I think it's really important when you're building products or you're writing articles, you give them time, right? So that you can Mm -hmm. use things as you encounter them or as you re-encounter things from the past, they can surface through those caching layers. And so in general, I think it's important that as we talked about, when you ask people for advice (laughs) or you give advice, you at least recognize that it is through a filter of relevancy. And again, that like initial caching layer. And if you go through the effort of really documenting something, you're in effect kind of penetrating more layers by giving it more time and also doing it in a way where you need to process that information. Yeah. I love, I have never heard anybody put it that way, but I love that idea of documentation like productizing is just documenting and then selling it to somebody else. Yeah. I I think that is such a new, fresh way, at least for me to think about it. Because a lot of times I feel like when you think about productizing something or the the guests I had on before you, Jack Butcher, he famously productized visualized value. That's like his whole thing is productizing yourself. And what I think is so interesting about that is that can sound dirty or grimy to be like, I'm a product now. It just sounds gross, I guess, on the surface. But what's really cool about what you're suggesting is like, no, it's not dirty because all you're doing is documenting your experience, what you've learned, your knowledge, because I guarantee there are hundreds, if not thousands of people who are going through the same problems that you already went through, you can help them solve and it's worth money for them to buy those solutions. Yeah. I mean, words are really powerful because every word has a connotation for every Mm. single person using it or listening to it. And if you don't like the term productizing yourself, you can also say you're scaling yourself. So you're basically taking everything that you can do one-to-one, meaning you're the one doing it. And I actually, I feel like this concept of scaling yourself, I also got from Jack Butcher, which he was like, I could start an agency and get all these clients and be the one working with these clients, or I could take everything that I know and basically scale myself or replicate myself in a way so that I can do more, but also I can allow other people to do more with my knowledge. And so Mm. the same thing is true with marketing. I think marketing sometimes has a very kind of sleazy connotation to it. Mm. As a marketer, I can accept that, but you can also spin marketing. And if you're like, I don't really like marketing stuff, you can just spin that and say, well, marketing is effectively just getting people to care about something. So can I get someone to care about what I'm creating? And so I just think it's important to recognize exactly what you said. Sometimes things do have sleazy or negative connotations. But if you really just get to the depths of what it really is, right? Marketing is just getting someone to care about something. I think you can 
look past that. 